Hi there, everybody. This is Adrian here from Trend Signal. Let's have a look at this week's uh, market news. So, uh, global equity markets had a mixed week last week, despite positive U.S. data and some consensus-busting Q1 earnings data from the likes of Amazon and Netflix. FTSE, however, uh, was really the standout market of uh, the week, uh, perhaps for all the wrong reasons that some might say, but in any case, an extremely strong move over the last month or so, leading us into sell in May, maybe, and go away, uh, possibly. Certainly a nice peak as we start May from there, so we shall see. Um, uh, Friday, uh, very big for us in terms of that uh, UK uh, GDP data. A poor, poor first reading on GDP for Q1, uh, and the UK knocked sterling, uh, in the UK, which knocked sterling on Friday. Big drop there. A lot of those currency pairs getting a massive hit on Friday accordingly. The poor weather might have been a contributing factor but analysts believe there's a more serious slowdown taking place and we've certainly seen that on the high street of late haven't we and then obviously in the retail but also in uh, um, uh, restaurants as well sterling fell sharply against the US dollar from around 138.85 to a low of 137.45 as traders effectively ruled out an interest rate rise on May the 10th maybe Mark Carney knew something when he spoke last week who knows? Ten days ago, the probability of a rate rise was 90% chance of a rate rise on the 10th of May. Now, it's less than 10, uh, 20% uh, chance of a rate rise there. You know, some analysts cautioned that this reading could be revised higher, but it now seems likely that the UK will now have to wait until August before we possibly see another rate rise. Not so in the US, however, as data remains strong. Let me bring up the S&Ps. With US GDP data beating forecasts um, and uh, Q1 results coming in way ahead of expectations in some cases, Amazon smashed their forecasts with the stock leaping 8%, making Jeff uh, Bezos the richest man in the world uh, as his own wealth jumped by $8 billion on the back of the results there. The strong U.S. backdrop helped to propel the U.S. dollar index to its highest close since the 11th of January, all but wiping out the U.S. dollar's losses this year. Oil remains bulled up by Trump's desire to rip up Obama's deal there uh, between the West and Iran over sanctions in exchange for Iran dropping its nuclear program. Despite Macron and then Merkel visiting the White House, it seems that Trump remains unmoved from his desire to either rip it up or renegotiate more favorable terms uh, for the U.S. and its allies. There's a quick look at uh, uh, NYMEX crude there. Okay, so busy uh, week for data this week. Let me quickly bring uh, that up. Let's start from the top. Um, what have we got? The main items there, non-farm payroll and FOMC interest rate decision data, plus manufacturing and service data, PMIs for the UK and the US. What you're going to notice is that on Tuesday, the 1st of May, uh, there's a lot of May Day celebrations there for most of Europe. China and Hong Kong are shut, but not so in the UK. We do that next Monday, so the 7th of uh, April uh, of May there. Uh, the US will be open as well. So on Tuesday, we start off with UK manufacturing PMI uh, data uh, there. Um, interestingly, uh, slight decline on uh, the previous uh, uh, month as expected there. Um, we shall see US ISM manufacturing data really is another world compared to where we're at in the UK there, albeit it is still also a fall from last month's number. Uh, in the Bank of uh, Canada, uh, Governor Polos is uh, speaking. That could have an impact on uh, the Canadian dollar there, so keep an eye out for that if you do trade those crosses. As you move through to Wednesday, UK construction PMI data there, um, a rebound from last month's uh, weather hitting reading, barely in, in expansion mode though is it, let's face it. Another round of uh, Brexit talks in Brussels uh, won't hear much, so it's unlikely to move markets uh, for now. Uh, the US ADP non-farm payroll data from private company payroll company uh, private payroll company ADP uh, is coming in here on Wednesday. Keep an eye out that bit of a, um, an aperitif, if you like, for Friday's uh, unemployment data that we're coming from the States there. Crude oil inventories, um, are we going to see another drawdown in those? 
we shall see question mark certainly remains over that with regards to the uh, FOMC US rate decision and statement there's no real chance of any rate rise coming through on Wednesday but markets will be interested about what the Fed says about inflation prospects which seem to be spooking the US market more than usual of late on Thursday UK services PMI uh, which is uh, really a rebound from last month's weather induced fall and then finally uh, on Thursday US ISM services uh, PMI as well again a slight contraction but still in expansion mode there. Um, uh, Friday, non-farm payroll expecting an increase of 185,000 jobs as uh, in comparison to 103,000 uh, in last uh, month there. Um, a rebound from last month's surprisingly soft reading, you could say. Uh, however, average hourly earnings will be scrutinized for any signs of a sustained pickup, which could be seen as inflationary. So those are the key items to be uh, knowing about for the week ahead. Uh, tune in next week for more market news news uh, and uh, if you'd like to see perhaps a few opportunities how we can trade around some of this data looking at the technicals on the charts tune into one of our live trading webinars um, and hopefully we'll see you online all the best and have a great week's trading bye, -bye for now if you would like more information about trading the right way trend signal is giving you the opportunity to see and hear about its services live at a free online seminar take a look at the trend signal website for the latest events and to book your free place